Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be covering all eight web challenges as part of Jersey CTF. Um, I live in Jersey City, so obviously I had to represent the Jersey CTF. Um, all in all, pretty fun challenges. Uh, for them, I'm going to be going pretty fast, so I'm not going to be going over the description. I'm pretty much just going to be covering uh, this is the challenge, this is the bug, this is how you get the flag. Um, so if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment or message on Discord or email or whatever. Um, I'd love to chat. Uh, and with that, let's get started. The first challenge is look, I'm hacking. They give us a website. We go to the website, we can view page source. And if we look at page source, um, you pretty much just read through this and eventually see there's a function called load flag. So you can either do this request yourself or since it's defined in the top level sort of document, you can actually just call the function yourself. So I'm gonna open up the console and then I'm gonna type load flag and bam, there's the flag. Um, this one didn't have the, the wrapping. All of them are wrapped in JCTF, but you can just do that manually and you get the flag. The next challenge is put the cookie down. So if we go to this website, um, they have a funny little page, but uh, if we refresh it, we go to the network tab, uh, we look down at what's actually being sent back to us, we'll see that there's a cookie and it says flag. I will be back for more cookies. So if you take this and you wrap it in JCTF, um, that was the flag. The next challenge is I got the keys. Uh, sadly, the URL is down. Um, uh, the challenges have been kind of flaky. I think everyone's at the award ceremony right now, so. Uh, there's no one looking at the infrastructure, but um, basically go to a URL, uh, you look at the, the page source, you can see the source is making some API call to another endpoint, and as part of that API call, it has a API key. Um, you can swap out the URL it's making to the slash flag endpoint, um, you're just supposed to guess it, uh, and if you do, you get the flag. Uh, I took a screenshot of uh, the solution when I was originally solving it. So like I said, originally this was get to something else. I, I don't remember what it was. And we can see it has this authorization key. So I think the idea is that you're like, you know, stealing credentials and you're reusing them for a different route. Uh, but basically you just make a, a request to get flag with this authorization key and you get back uh, the flag. So not too bad of a challenge. The next challenge is timeless. We're just given a URL. For this challenge, we're supposed to do a SQL injection. Um, so you can use a default username of admin. Um, then in the password field, uh, I'm going to type one or one equals one, comment, comment. And let me grab all that, put that here. And here is the flag. The next challenge is Jinja Jackers. So if we go here, um, we're given a little page. Uh, the key was to like request some page that doesn't exist. And so we can see we have reflective content. And from here, you were supposed to know that you could do a template injection. So we'll do, I don't know. 8 plus 8, we see what we get back, and we get 16. So this is actually like a, a full template injection. Um, we can guess that just based off of the challenge, like it says Ninja here. Um, so from here, uh, you can just search Ninja template injection payload or something like that. Um, I guess this is purple, so this is probably the one I used. Uh, from here, you just scroll down. Uh, these, these happen all the time, so we're really just looking for the command injection. Uh, and this looks like a good one. So request application globals built in import OS p open read. So we'll take this. So instead of this payload, we want this payload. Uh, instead of this, let's do ls root. We can see here is the root and this is the file we want. So instead of popen, we want cat. Oh, there's an extra slash in there. Type there and there's the flag. The next challenge is poisoned. I didn't solve this during the CTF. It was down for a long time and I didn't have much time to play this morning, uh, but it wasn't too hard of a challenge. Uh, from poisoned, we kind of know what we're going to be doing. Um, uh, we have a PHP app. Normally when they poison it, there's like this log poison attack that, and you can do a local file inclusion in PHP. Um, so it was kind of hinting towards that type of challenge. Um, so if we were to put in garbage here, so it's doing page equals, um, we'll see we get here this little include page, this page doesn't exist, so we know we have a local file inclusion in PHP. Um, from here we want to see if we can uh, do a full directory traversal, so we might try up, 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 Etsy host um, to see. Uh, we can see it's being stripped out, um, so that's interesting, so it's it's getting rid of these characters it looks like, so we can try being a little bit more clever, like what happens if we put an extra two dots in there? We see we get a dot dot Etsy, and if we put in maybe two slashes, we see we get a full up up slash. So that was the trick, you just have to double it. Something like that, and we can see we have the host file. I mean, you can also do Etsy password or something like that. We just want a known file on disk so we can make sure our LFI is actually working. Uh, from here, the next step was figuring out where the log file is. Um, so we're doing a LFI poisoning attack in PHP. The idea is that normally you would set your like host header to, or your refer header or something to a PHP sort of snippet with a backdoor. 
um, and that'll be set into the uh, Apache or HTTP, HTTP daemon logs. And then from there, if you load that file, like that PHP snippet will be executed. Um, so for this, we had to figure out where it was. Uh, I just tried a couple. Eventually I saw, found out that it was here. Uh, you just kind of Google around until you find the correct one. Um, uh, failed to load. Oh, we're missing an extra slash. Cool. Uh, when we get here, we see it says array key poison. Um, I'm guessing this flag was manually placed by the challenge authors. I don't know if anyone actually is doing the uh, injection themselves, uh, but that's okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to put that poison keyword in there. So poison is equal to ls. And sweet, we have command injection. Um, so most likely, you know, on the back end, uh, it'll look something like, you know, PHP uh, system. I forget the exact syntax, but it's something like get poison, uh, something like this. Um, and so we're just poison, poison. There we go, <laughs> poison. Um, it's something like this in the log file, so we're just going to be exploiting that. Um, anyways, let's refresh. Uh, there's nothing here, so maybe let's do ls. Let's go up to the root, uh, and we can see we have a secret flag.txt here on the root directory. So for our command injection, let's just print that out. Oops, I forgot the root slash. And there we go, Apache log poisoning. The next challenge is XSS Terminator. Um, I didn't solve this one during the CTF, and uh, I think you'll see why I didn't solve it. Um, but anyways, we're given two URLs, uh, something here. So we enter something, blah, we get some reflected content. And we come here, it says steal the cookie and send it to cookie data endpoint once you do refresh the page to find the flag. So very confusing. Um, Turns out the solution to this one was you were supposed to just send it your own cookie. Um, again, for that reason, I didn't really solve it and I'm not too mad about missing this one. So if you can just do document cookie to print out your own cookie. Uh, and then you go here, it says send the cookie to cookie data is equal. So we'll put the cookie here. Then we need to go back to this page, refresh the page and you get the flag. So it's not an XSS challenge. You're just supposed to take a cookie from one domain and send it to the other one. Um, it is what it is. The last challenge was avenge my password. We're given a SSH and a password. So uh, we can SSH into the box. Then it was Jersey CTF 2023 estimation point. And now we are on the box. So normally from here, uh, you can start just poking around. Um, we can go to the root directory, see if there's a flag or something. Um, normally for one of these challenges, this is actually what I did. Um, there's a really cool script called limpies. And so using this, uh, you can, where's the command? Uh, you just run this command and basically this will do all the enumeration for you. Like it'll look for weird files, set you a D binaries, um, credentials on disk, all that sort of stuff. Uh, and so like if I'm in a normal CTF and I need to enumerate a box, this is what I go to. Um, it didn't really help too much on the CTF. Uh, like this is a web challenge, not really like a pwn the box sort of challenge. Um, and so there were two things we were supposed to find. Uh, one was that there is a running Apache instance or HTTP, I'm not sure, there's a running web server on the box uh, and it has some files that are interesting. And the other one was we were supposed to notice that there was MySQL running on the box. Um, the way I solved it is I ran W to see what other people were doing because it's a shared infrastructure. I guess they block W now, but it used to be that you could see uh, what other people were doing and a lot of people were using MySQL. So we know that we're supposed to be doing, using, doing something with MySQL. Um, the same password works, so it was Jersey CTF 2023 exclamation point. You go here, so we're just connected to a, a MySQL database. So you can do show databases. We can see there's three databases. One of them is website, so we probably want website. Then we can do show tables. Uh, there's a table called login. Then we can do select star from login. Cool. Uh, if we scroll up, eventually we see this really weird one. Uh, entry 401 as spring 2023 exclamation exclamation. So uh, we have, I guess, a password here. If we go up to the table schema, we can see yeah, it's password, user ID and password. Cool. Um, what else? Like I said, there's also a, a web directory. So if we go to www, no, no, var www.html here, uh, it says there's only an index.php. If we cat it out, we can't. Um, but if we actually look a little bit closer, we can see there's a whole, a bunch of these like hidden directories. Um, so I did a grep, I, I was just looking for the flag, so I did grep, recursive, uh, jctf right here. And we get permission denied on this file and this file. 
Um, if you try catting uh, some of these files out, there's a bunch of high dot text all over the place, but I didn't think any of them had anything in them. So really we just have this hidden file. Cool. Uh, and we have an index.php, so there's most likely a web server running on this box too. So if we go back to this, let's see what we have. So this index.php is apparently a login page. And if we go to, what was it, usernames? Dot username, dot username, let's just copy this. Here, we're given a huge list of usernames. Cool, and so at this point, it's kind of coming together. I guess we need to log into the service. We have a password from the database and we have a usernames from uh, this. There's one other thing that was interesting. I guess it wasn't part of the challenge, but if we go to the home directory, there's this, uh, what is it, MySQL history. Um, we can see that they're doing stuff. They inserted this Lucy Hatfield and this entry here. Um, I, I didn't use it. Uh, I'm not really sure what it's for. Um, you can see the schema is also different. It goes user ID email. Um, so uh, I'm not too sure, but uh, anyways, we have a password and a list of usernames. And so from there, we can start brute forcing. So I wrote a little script. Um, I tried like the 401th entry, entry in the username to see if it worked. It didn't work for me for whatever reason. But so I wrote this instead. Uh, basically, I saved that username file. I read all the lines, I strip them, uh, I print them just to make sure. This is that password we found in the MySQL database. And then I just brute force that uh, login page and until we get something interesting. So uh, let's exit this, uh, Python 3, solve. Um, and it's just gonna go through until it finds something interesting. Oh, and so something interesting happened and yep, we got this. Alert, uh, we love marble, good job. So. That was it, and that was all the web challenges. Uh, if anyone wants a specific challenge uh, that our team solved, just let me know. Uh, happy to talk about any of them. Um, and yeah, thanks for NJIT for hosting. I think they're also sending out a t-shirt to all participants uh, that live in the US, so that's pretty cool. Uh, thank you for that, and I'll see you at the next CTF. Cheers.